Hey, Peeper Girl, um, it's Miss Kush, and as promised, this is the third video for 1213. Um, excuse me, 213? Oh my goodness. Okay, so exponential and logarithmic equations and inequalities, and in this video, we are looking at inequalities. Um, and they got a little tricky, so let's. I've worked them once, but I haven't really taught them in the past, so here we go. Let's see what happens. Um, so in this first one, we have. Um, this f of x function with, with like all kinds of crazy things, and we want to know where is it greater than zero. So the things that we need to consider, if you remember back to, if we had, if we had a rational function, we would be concerned about um, any vertical asymptote because we could have, um, we would be concerned about any zeros. Say uh, the horizontal asymptotes don't relate quite so much, but if we want to know, we would need. We would need to know zeros here. We would know, need to know, because then we could have something like this, but then we could also have a hole. Okay, so do you remember when we did rational functions? We were looking at, at zeros. We were looking at asymptotes. We were looking at holes, because things kind of happen around that. Um, in these sorts of problems, because, um, because we're dealing with logs, we have restricted domains. So, um, for example, if I have log base b of x, okay, so y is equal to that. What has to happen is that x has to be greater than 0. So my domain would be from 0 to infinity. So whatever's happening in here, I have to make sure I don't, I can't take the log of 0. I can't take the log of a negative. So I want to make sure that whatever's here is um, 0 or bigger. Not, I lied, bigger than 0. That's what I want to say. Okay, so I'm going to look at this little piece right here. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, it is a factor. Well, no, it doesn't factor, which is kind of annoying. Um, so what I might do, I, I need to know, um, I know this little piece in here is quadratic. And um, what I did is I started by completing the square so that I could solve it. Because nothing multiplies to give me 7 and combines to give me a negative 4, which is disappointing. Um, and so I have x minus 2 squared. So 2 squared, 4 goes in my box, 4 goes in my box. And this gave me a negative 3, which tells me, as soon as I try and do the cheer, square root, square root, plus minus, um, as soon as I try and do the cheer, I get a non-real answer. So that's telling me that this, my parabola here, like this equation, um, the x squared minus 4x plus 7, that parabola, it's opening up because this is positive, and it never hits the x-axis. So no matter what I plug in here, we're going to get a positive number. Okay, so, um, so this piece right here has no restrictions on the domain. This piece does have a restriction on the domain. This x has to be greater than negative 3. If I plugged in negative 3, I would take the log of 0, which is no good. If I plug in um, negative 2, we're fine. Then we're taking log of 1, OK? Um, so my x values have to be, so one thing I want to consider is um, when x is equal to, excuse me, when x is greater than negative 3. And then we want to know, OK, well, when will this whole mess equal 0? So I'm going to come along and take this whole thing and say, well, f of x is equal to, let's squish this together log of x squared minus 4x plus 7 over x plus 3. And I want to know, when does this mess equal 0? OK, so I can do I heart logs. This is a base 10 is understood. So 10 to the 0 is equal to 1. So I end up getting x squared minus 4x plus 7 over x plus 3 is equal to 1. Because 10 to the 0 is equal to all this mess. And they are, 10 to the 0 is 1. OK, so now I'm going to solve this. And I'm going to get x squared minus 4x plus 7 is equal to x plus 3. Move everything o things over as necessary. So subtract that gives me x squared minus 5x. Subtract that gives me a plus 4. Oh, this factors. <laughs> OK, um, so this becomes an x minus 4 times an x minus 1 is equal to 0. So I find that my function, when I plug in 1 or 4, I will get 0. Oh, there it is. OK, so what I want to do is I want to draw a little number line. Like I can do my little sign diagram. Um, and I need, I need negative 3. And I need, well, we want it to be um, greater than but not equal to. So you know what? Let's just do dotted. Um, so we'll do a dotted line at 1. We'll do a dotted line. I didn't space that very well. Whatever. Uh, at positive 4. 
Okay, the first thing I know is that nothing, if I try to plug in something in smaller than negative three, it's no good. I can't take the log of something negative. So I'm gonna write no, or something like that. Um, or not in the domain, or NA, or I don't know, whatever shortcut. I, this is this is just Miss Gosh trying to figure out how to do these problems. Um, so I don't know the official idea, but this is not in the domain. We're looking at this part, which is. Okay, so now if I plug in, what I might wanna do here is say, okay, well, what is f of something between negative three and positive one? That would be f of zero. Is that a good one for us to use? Well, this becomes zero and zero. That's log of seven. And then minus, plug in zero, log of three. Okay, so now the question comes, um, is this, which is bigger, log of seven or log of three? Well, if you're not sure, grab a calculator, but log of seven is bigger than log of three. So I have something bigger, minus, something smaller minus something bigger, and so this is gonna end up being positive. So this area right here will be positive. Um, and now, then let's say, let's try f of two. And so I end up with four minus eight, that's negative four plus three, plus seven is three. There, I, I get to my answer without intending to. And then the other one was minus, I, what did I say, two? Uh, minus log of five. Log of five is bigger than log of three, so this is gonna be negative. So this was positive, this was negative. And now let's try f of five. Okay, so 25 minus 20 is five, plus seven is 12, log of 12 minus log of, what did we say, five plus three is eight. This is bigger than that, so this is gonna be positive. So the way that I understand this to, be, to go would be from negative three to one, pick it up again and go from four to infinity. Um, I wonder, I might split this into more videos because these are tricky, you guys. Um, let me, okay, let's go to the graph. Let's see what happens if I can type this whole mess in. Um, so this is log of x squared minus 4x plus 7. I think Desmos would be nicer, but I don't have easy access to show you Desmos currently. Uh, minus log of x plus 3. Okay, and so when I, let's do, let's do a standard window. Okay, so what do we see? It looks like we're positive. Um, this appears to be at negative three. So it appears that it's doing, um, we might want to, um, okay, I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna talk about this area in just a second. If I do G solve and find my roots, I think I should have one at positive one. Come on, positive one. Oh, good, and I think I should have one at positive four. All right, come on, positive four. Okay, so I had those where I expected, and it sure looks to me, well, let's do this. Our y values were just too big. Okay, so when I zoom in here, we can see a little bit more clearly, yes, it dips down between those zeros. Um, and then, so this is one, two, three. It does appear to be shooting off to, um, let's, now let's come back to change this window again. I just wanna see what's happening around x equals negative three. So say from negative four to negative two, um, and I wanna see more, I don't know, I'm just guessing. So as I change that window, well, even here, it probably just got so close to that other line that it can't, doesn't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna try one more window change. So say from negative 3.1 to negative 2.9. Um, so we have kind of zoomed, so it looks pretty similar. Anyway, I think it's approaching that asymptote, but it's a little tricky, hard to tell. Um, but the short answer is we were right. Ah, hallelujah. Okay. Um, I think I will come back for the next video. Um, we'll do two more. We'll see if it's one more video or two, but look out for that one. Good luck. Go practice.